soprattutto la chitarra e la fisarmonica, inventando così uno stile a metà tra il cabaret e il musical, che è ancora adesso la caratteristica principale del suono dei Day My Be Giants. Ascoltiamoceli quindi in questo concerto texano. La prima canzone l'annuncia proprio John Lillard, Day My some really uh, sort of humiliating show in the middle of the Midwest, and there are about eight people there. And we did that, and they seemed to be sort of getting into it a little bit, and, and we did that song and they all left. I think it was the vocal harmony wasn't mixed quite right, but... Or maybe it was the whole quail thing. I don't know. Maybe we just picked the wrong man, and they were a little angry about it. So anyway, so uh, this next song is also off our first record, and it's called Number Three. There's only two songs in me, and I just wrote the third. Don't know where I got the inspiration or how I wrote the words. Spent my whole life. Bravo. 
have to return to our home mics. You guys are really an excellent audience. And frankly, it, it worries us. They Might Be Giants in concerto a Austin, Texas, dopo aver suonato per anni nelle cantine di New York, i They Might Be Giants ebbero la brillante idea nel 1986 di inventare un servizio chiamato Dial a Song. Il servizio consisteva nel fatto che i due, ogni mattina, registravano sulla loro segreteria telefonica una canzone, una canzone diversa al giorno. Chiunque poteva chiamare il loro numero e ascoltarsi gratuitamente il brano. Il successo dell'iniziativa permise ai They My Be Giants di far uscire il loro primo LP, che porta il loro nome, nel 1987, un album che ha venduto oltre 100.000 copie, ricevendo ottime recensioni sia in America che in Europa, in particolare in Inghilterra, dove la band ha portato a termine una strepitosa tournée nell'88. Una canzone da Long Plane, Don't Let Me Start, è addirittura diventata un hit di MTV e delle radio commerciali. Alla fine dell'88 uscì... Istanbul. 
Thank you. Mr. John Bonham is with us tonight, we think. Okay, here's a song uh, about a kind of a nightmare, and it's called... John, push the speed button back in on the tape recorder if it isn't done already. Mr. John Gernand, the man behind the wheels of steel, the inventor of the mythocracy that is They Might Be Giants, and the guy with perhaps the longest hair of any male in this audience tonight. But not longer than the fine, fine women of Texas who all... It's shocking to be from New York and see women wearing long... Don't misunderstand. We want this is called Where Your Eyes Don't Go. You'll never be discovering You're free to come and go Or talk like Curtis Blow There's a pair of eyes In the back of your hat Every job a pile of person Has a thing in part That wonders what the part That is a thing it isn't thinking of Should you worry when the skull head Is in front of you Or is it worse because the top is waiting
Era una palla di neve in inferno. Humor tipico dei Day My Bean Giants.